Hi everyone, I'm Chen Wanjun from the First Affiliate Hospital of Guangzhou Medical University. And the case I want to share with you is the ultimate confession after 20 years, write a poem for you. The story began when I was reviewing the report. From this report, we can know the foreign information. Looking at the combination of this abnormal test result, I click on the patient's medical record. Patient, May 66 years old, was admitted to the hospital with cough for more than 20 years, aggravated with soreness of breath and numbness of both lower limbs. For one year, the patient had a recurrent cough 20 years ago. One year ago, he developed a aggravated cough with soreness of breath accompanied by numbness and pigmentation of both lower limbs, as well as personality changes. He was diagnosed with heart failure, and the symptoms did not improve after treatment. He has a history of hyperthyroidism. These were his initial diagnosis. Other laboratory and imaging tests were revealed. PCT and CRP were slightly higher. Interleukin cells increased, elevated pro-BNP and positive ANA. Pulmonary function so with deep pulmonary ventilation dysfunction. CT with real limb nodes enlargement in acid, thoracic by bone changes. Ultrasound so slightly enlarged left heart and spring no megaly. Electromyography suggests peripheral nerve damage. Combining this data, the patient was found to have the following. 1. Cardio dysfunction of unknown etiology and common etiologies such as COPD or CHD were not supported. 2. Aerated TSH, normal FT3 and FT4, and personality changes were consistent with the diagnosis of hyperthyroidism. 3. Decreased total protein, relatively high globulin content, aerated beta 2 microglobulin and interleukin cis aeration, bone changes, enlarged lymph nodes, Sprenomegaly were consistent of multiple myeloma, which can cause cardio dysfunction too. Based on the above analysis, we communicated with the doctor about the patient and suggest serine protein and immunophysician electrophoresis to rule out the MM. The doctor raised a question as to why the patient had a normal T3 but low than T4. When in case of hyperthyroidism, T4 should change earlier than T3. We explained that this was considered to be a biochemical low T3 syndrome, caused by reduced conversion of T4 to T3. Further thyroid autoantibody testing is recommended to clarify the cause of hyperthyroidism. The doctor took our advice and scheduled this test immediately. We can see that the patient had elevated anti-TG, serine protein electrophoresis show a clear monoclonal staining band in the gamma region. Immunophysation electrophoresis show monoclonal bands in IgG and lambda lace. So the truth is Hashimoto's viroditis combined with multiple myeloma. However, a bizarre sex hormone report soon made the patient's diagnosis confusing again. A 66-year-old man had elevated female-related hormones, and the patient's breast ultrasound also suggested gynecomastia. Again, we contacted the doctor and learned that the patient had undergone PET-CT. However, PET-CT did not support a diagnosis of MM. Finally, the pathology results came back. The pathology of the enlarged lymph nodes was diagnosed as Castleman disease, plasma cell time. Pathology is the gold standard, but the diagnosis of this patient did not stop at pathology. After a MDT, the case was finally diagnosed as Poem's syndrome. Poem's syndrome is a rare plasma cell disease. The current diagnosis is based on the IMWG criteria. 
The diagnosis of Poehn syndrome is confirmed when both of the mandatory criteria, one of the major criteria and one of the minor criteria are present. In this case, the patient had polyneuropathy, organomegaly, endocrinopathy, monoclonal protein, and skin changes. Consistent with the five classic presentation of Poehn syndrome. Meanwhile, with reference to the criteria, Poehn syndrome was perfectly established. In the end, let's make a conclusion with a Poehn. A drop of water will never dry up only when it is put into the sea. Laboratory medicine can only progress if it is combined with the clinic. Work may be boring, but take the boring things to the extreme and you will find it interesting. In the future, from now on forever, stay hungry, stay foolish. Thank you.